Yes. Sam, take your hanky just in case you sneeze in the middle. Really? Yeah. No, I don't want. I j yeah. Thank just you. in case, thank you. Just in case. <laughs> Excellent question. Get rid of the okay. Can I check my voice? <coughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. and I am an architect. Today, I would like to talk about green buildings and energy efficiency. The whole world has been facing problems caused by an increasing demand for energy due to rapid population growth, which has put enormous pressure on the construction industry. In fact, residential and commercial buildings spend much more energy than industrial and transportation in developed countries, reaching 20 to 40 percent. This has made energy efficiency a top priority for energy policy. Many green buildings organizations have been established worldwide to overcome this problem. For example, the US Green Building Council, USGBC, has developed certification systems about, such as LEED. Now, what is green building? Compared to conventional buildings, green buildings focus on the efficient use of energy, water, materials, and land and also provide better lighting and ventilation for tenants. So, green buildings sounds like a good idea, isn't it? But, are these advantages really borne out by the evidence? This is what I would like to discuss today. To what extent can green buildings reduce energy usage and improve the global environment. Well, green buildings certainly can improve the global situation and at least they can make a sound contribution. They can make a change. Now, let's start with the challenges. Uh, I will start with by talking about the challenges, then I will talk about the advantages of green buildings, mainly the efficient use of resources such as water energy, and the financial benefits of green buildings. Directly in the operation, maintenance, and indirectly in the material preparation stages. Now, let's begin by talking about the challenges green buildings face. The largest challenge is due to the widespread perception that green buildings are costly and 
provide more environmental and health benefits than cost benefits. Is this right? I think so. <laughs> Criticisms also have been made about all green buildings organizations and corporations that they have become more profit centric. They care about money. And therefore, green buildings movements, purity is in danger of being lost. Another criticism had been made about certification programs. So, according to Edwards and Nabui, some leading cert some lead certified buildings perform worse than non-certified buildings. Now, let's move on to talk about the advantages of green buildings. The first most significant advantage is energy saving. The Environmental Protection Agency in the United States found that approximately 90% people spend approximately 90% of their time indoors. That's, we, that's why we are here. <laughs> and in fact, you know, this, this um, highlight how serious is the problem and require a huge amount of energy. But green buildings focus on the efficient use of systems, three main systems, cooling, heating, and lighting. Now, for example, passive and solar houses are two different types of low energy buildings, which minimize the building's operation energy and use both active and passive technology to achieve this. Now, as an architect, I developed this figure to make it, uh, to simplify those three concepts, lighting, heating, and cooling. Now, let's start with the passive solar lighting. The passive solar lighting, first, the building collects the light outside and brings it in, distributes the light all over the space, and controls the artificial light to maintain a uniform light. Then, the passive heating system can be divided into four main stages, as you can see red. By collecting the sunlight, storing it in a thermal mass, convecting the heat inside the space, then controlling the temperature. Now, unlike the heat, the passive heating system, the passive cooling system focus aims to remove the heat from the building by using shading devices and provide natural ventilation for tenants. I hope it's clear now. Now, let's move on to talk about the financial benefits of green buildings. First, energy and water costs. A recent example is a hotel spend $184,000 for building energy efficiency improvements and realized a yearly saving of, what do you think? $58,000, so it's almost one third. Then, the environmental and emission costs concerning environmental and commission co emission costs. Lockwood states that green buildings have less negative effect on the natural environment. Regarding operation and maintenance costs, the University of Hawaii saved 3.4 million dollars following lead certified buildings. And finally, Green buildings 
certainly improve tenants' health and productiveness. You know, when the workplace becomes green, sick building syndrome, influenza, and allergies are reduced to 20 to 50%, 9 to 20%, and 8 to 25%, respectively. Now, in conclusion, although there are criticisms, criticisms about green buildings, it is evident that conventional buildings do not provide as many benefits as green buildings. This leads us to the most significant question. Why do we need to consume more energy in our buildings? Think about it. Now, finally, as a personal recommendation, further work is needed scientifically through, um, through, through, through the development of new green building methods and socially by increasing people's awareness about the benefits of green buildings. Thank you for listening. You had those statistics about uh, the reduction of illnesses in green buildings? Yeah. Can you explain them to me again? Back? Sure. Back? Back? Oh, okay. No. Hey. Oh, there. Okay. That's really impressive, I know. But like, it is evident that the green space, the green building space, uh, has much better air quality, you know, than a normal space. And that's why I'm sick today. That's the reason. Okay. If, this is a, the building. if this is a green building, I would be sick. <laughs> Trust me. And, you know, um, that's like, this is a